then we also need a fitness function. We use a fitness function to link uh, the genetic algorithm to the initial uh, solution problem we have. And the fitness function is a transformation, actually, of the objective function. But uh, it has uh, two properties. First of all, it's, um, it's always positive. And second, uh, the higher its value, the better uh, the solution. So, since now we have a minimization problem, okay, we could... Uh, so we want a uh, low value for the objective function. We should use a fitness function that uh, should be perhaps the inverse of the objective function, because also the objective function, the objective function is always positive. So we define the fitness function to be this. Okay, so in our case, it should be three divided by two. And why, what do we do with this uh, fitness function? This uh, function uh, is used to determine the probabilities that uh, some of the chromosomes, as I said before, we have, say, 20 chromosomes in uh, the population or more. So we, we use the fitness function to determine the probability that the, uh, some of these chromosomes will be selected as parents for uh, making the, next, the chromosomes of the next generation. So the first uh, step, uh, when we have a population, uh, we start for, from a random initial population, then we decode the chromosomes to the solutions of the initial problem. We find the, fitness, the objective function and the fitness function. And then we go to the second uh, step, which is the selection process uh, for the pilot. Now, one way to select uh, the parents is uh, to pick uh, randomly two chromosomes from the population uh, with a probability proportional to their fitness. So, suppose we have uh, here chromosomes, okay, and uh, the fitness, their fitness uh, we calculated is say three. Two of these, okay, uh, one. Perhaps this has ten or something. Uh, so the probability uh, you sum up all these numbers, you get, okay, say, uh, S, okay. and the probability for each of the chromosomes to be selected as parent is uh, its fitness value, it's a pi, divided by the sum of the fitness value. Hmm? So for this it should be 3, for the first case it should be 3, 2, multiplied by s, which is the, number, the symbol I used for the sum. So we select, we select two parents this way. Then we use these two parents to form two children. And uh, for uh, forming these two children, we use uh, the crossover and the mutation operator. Do you have any questions? <laughs> Should I continue? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, you're tired, uh, stop. No, no, okay. I'm kidding. How many minutes do you still have? Are you playing on YouTube? Yes. I don't know how many minutes. <laughs> I'll, I'll just put the experts uh, uh, that are good, you know. <laughs> Also, there is another way to make selection of parents, uh, which is uh, called turn tournament selection, where you pick two, two chromosomes uh, of the population in random, then you calculate their fitness values and you compare the two uh, chromosomes. And you 
uh, keep the one with the highest fitness value as the first parent. Then you do again the same uh, process. To select the second parent, you pick two chromosomes in random, you calculate their fitness values, and you keep the best uh, one of them. And then you take the two parents, which might be, which might be maybe. Let's uh, suppose that two, these two chromosomes are the two parent chromosomes. The first operator we use is crossover. Uh, the crossover is uh, done like this. You have a specific or a random, it could be cutting point, that could be here, for example, which is the middle. And uh, you cut these chromosomes in half or you could use a different cutting point, or you could use also multiple cutting points, or a random cutting point, so for its pairing it will be a different one. But let's suppose that we use uh, this uh, cutting point that is uh, in the middle. To form the children, these are the two parents' chromosomes. This is the first part of the first chromosome, okay, this is the second part, and this is the first part of the second part of the chromosome, this is the second. So to form the two children, you take the first part from the first chromosome and the second part